Okay, whenever I go into someone's closet and take a look, this is pretty much what I normally see. It's all the clothes mishmashed together and crammed in too much, lots of empty hangers hanging out in there too. First thing you want to do, like anything else, is to get rid of all the extra. So just take the extra hangers that are in there, take out clothes that you no longer wear, and I definitely, you know, need to go. Yep, maybe these can definitely go. Sweats are no. You can see this person has a lot of denim. So the second thing I would do is try to group all like items together. Take them off the hangers, make sure that you know none of them need alterations or missing buttons. Because um, the worst thing is you know pulling out your last pair of jeans when everything else is in the wash and realizing you're missing a button or you know the hem needs to be fixed and then it goes back in the closet. Um, and sizes that don't fit definitely don't keep. Um, keeping clothes that don't fit out of guilt is um, a terrible thing to deal with every morning. So just get rid of the clothes that don't fit and deal with what you do have. And whenever you get back to that side, you can put them back in the closet. But um, if you only have this much real estate in your um, you know, closet real estate, so to speak, you don't want to load it up with things that you almost never wear. Just keep it you know, with your daily items that you know, you're referencing all the time. If you have shirts that are, have a wide neck like this, mostly ladies are the ones that have these, um, and they're constantly doing this and falling onto the floor and, you know, in the heap, in the heap down there, um, there are many, many different type of hangers that you can, that you can use. Um, so just kind of, you know, play around with the different hangers that you may already have in your closet. You may find one that'll hold the shirt a little better than uh, what you were currently using. Some hangers also have rubber grips at the shoulders right here, which prevents um, shirts with slippery material from falling off and, again, ending, ending up in the heap of clothes and shoes down at the bottom there. So I think this will work pretty well. All right, so we went through um, the owner of the closet and we got rid of some of the clothes. Um, and what remains here is a much better spaced out closet. Now I put all the jeans, um, all the light items together basically. All the jeans are together, um, all the white shirts are together, some of the blacks are together, and then everything that's kind of, you know, mishmash and not really any particular colors here too. So you can really see also when you go shopping what you don't need any more of. You definitely do not need any more jeans or any more white shirts. Now, I uh, put these shoes up here. If you remember, these are from the other segment that we did on um, organizing your shoe collection. So we have the shoes up there with the pictures on front, and I think it just really helps clear up you know, what you really have and gets rid of a lot of the not knowing uh, phenomenon, phenomenon that goes on.